Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ray, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are playing Hollow Knight, and I want to show you, one, how to repair your broken charms, and two, how to make your breakable charms unbreakable. You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't that be amazing just to be able to make it so every time you, uh, you die, you were able to just keep your charms? I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going we're gonna to pick up all of these fragile charms right now. And just so you know, if you do happen to die with one of these charms equipped um, and you need to get them fixed, all you have to do is come back to the leg eater to get it repaired. Okay? It's just that simple. So now, when we come over here to the bench, we can go and we can equip a charm. Let's say we want uh, fragile strength. There we go. Now, now we have the strength. But now, how do we... How do we go ahead and make this something stronger? How do we make it so in that way it won't break? Well, what we need to do is make our way over to the top left area of the map. And I will show you where that is here in just one second. Make our way up. Before I continue, actually, uh, one thing. Well, a couple of things. Uh, what do we need? One, you need the dream nail. You absolutely must have the dream nail before we even continue this on because we have to go unlock the Grim Troop. Once we unlock the Grim Troop, that's what's gonna allow us to get the unbreakable versions of these charms. And so that's something that you're gonna get, uh, yeah, when, once you have the dream nail, then you'll be able to make this stuff happen. So if you don't have the dream nail yet, uh-oh. I got, I got caught. I got caught cheating here. So, what do we do? We're going to cheat our way out of this. Just like that. How about that? So, right now what I'm doing is I'm just making my way back over to Green Path. Because once we do that, we'll be able to uh, make our way over to the Howling Cliffs. And once we make our way over to the Howling Cliffs, I can show you exactly where we can unlock the Grim Troop. All right, so let's go. Okay, so we work our way back up to Dirtmouth, and from here, I'm gonna assume that you already have the dash because you made it to the Leg Eater. So what we're gonna do is use the Stag Station and make our way over back to the Green Path area. And what this is gonna do is get us much closer to the Howling Cliffs. All right, you following me? Okay, so now that we're at the Green Path area, I can show you where we're at on the map. We just left the Stag Station and now we're gonna make our way up to the Howling Cliffs. So to get there, we just come up kind of where we were earlier. Um, we're going to pass by where we saw a good old Zote. And uh, if you did it right, you left that little, uh, that, that little, you know what, that bugger uh, to, to fend for himself. If, if you didn't know, I'm kind of not the biggest fan of Zote. I don't like that guy. He defeated me in the third pantheon far too many times, and so whenever I get the chance, uh, I let him struggle. So we're gonna press on, and I'll show you where we're going. So we don't need to have the fragile charms in our possession right now. What's gonna end up happening is we are going to unlock the Grim Troop, and then from there, it that's what's gonna allow us to, oop. That was a mistake. Once we unlock the Grim Troop, that's what's gonna allow us to get to a new NPC known as Divine. And Divine is the one who is gonna let us uh, upgrade our charms. All right, so once you get to here, you just make your way down, just like that. Don't mind me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna die or nothing. Uh, so we're gonna keep going. Uh, I think, yeah, is there a charm here? Is that what that is? Yeah, there you go. Pick up pick up a charm while you're on your way. Look at that. We're going to keep going up and around. Is this a breakable wall? No. For some reason, I thought it was. I thought we were going to discover some secrets together. There we go. That's the breakable wall. And don't forget that, uh, that grub back there that I just callously walked by. But... Okay, we just went up and around, just to show you where we are, here we are on the map. We we made our way around and up, 
And uh, yeah, now we're, now we're here. We're at the base of the Howling Cliffs. And so we need to make our way up and there is a, uh, a hidden uh, breakable wall that we are going to need to find. And so I can, uh, I can assist and help you with that. So we're gonna climb up just a little bit. Just like that. And you don't need double jump to be able to do this. So if you're seeing the, the double jump stuff, don't worry about that. Um, that's it's all extra. You can get up here without that. So let me show you where we are on the map. Uh, we're, we're below that little entrance there. And here we have our breakable wall. And if we come to the right, we got a little little thing we can read. But we can drop down. There we go. So once you pick up that Wanderer's Journal right here, breakable wall, just like that, and then you make your way over to the right. And if we keep going to the right, we are going to find this interesting little area here. And it looks like there should be something here, and there will be. We just got to keep going to the right. You hear that sound? Found a found a little secret, and we found this, this bug here. And let's talk to the bug. The corpse of a large bug. And so we can inspect the bug, but if we come back out, nothing's changed. If we dream nail the bug, like this, hence the need for the dream nail. You see see how things are turning red? Things are happening? Look at that. Look at that. What is this? What is this? We're gonna open it up. We're gonna hit it. We're gonna stroke the flames of fire. And this is going to start the Grim Troop. We have we have brought them into town. We have called upon the Grim Troop. So now what we need to do is go ahead and make our way back over to Dirtmouth. And just like that, we're back over to Dirtmouth. And uh, you can see our main guy here. He Elderbug is uh he's a little shooken up. This is the main tent. This is where you will talk to Grim and you will kind of progress the storyline with the Grim troop. But right here, this is where you will find Divine. And so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to bring her one of our uh, our fragile charms. And so let's go ahead and throw this on. And if we make our way over to Divine right here, we can talk to her. And if you have a warning, if you have a fragile charm equipped, she is going to take it from you right now. Do not go and talk to her with fragile greed equipped because you will be using the fragile greed to earn enough geo to get your fragile charms upgraded. I'll show you what I mean. Ah, did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You do not look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. Ah, that charm. Beautiful, most precious thing. Lovely, lovely. Will you let me see it? Have to show it to me. So, when I said she takes it, it you, you, you show her the charm. You don't necessarily know that you're giving it uh, until you give it. And then, and then it's just gone. Just like that. She literally, it says charm lost on the bottom left. She just took it from you. Such a little beauty, such a smell, such a smell. Ah. So if you give her the fragile greed, uh, you're, it's going to take you longer to do the next step. Because these charms are not cheap at all. Uh, so for this one here, the one who made the gift. Ah, where? Below. Yes. Very good gift. Very tasty. Delicious. So I think we have to leave. And then when we go back, we can talk to her and we can pay for it. Do you want something? A little lovely. You don't want to take my gift back, do you? Ah, so nasty. So cruel if that's true. Once you give something as a gift, you've lost it forever. So look at that. She wants 12 thousand geo for that charm is that nuts and just so you know it's going to cost nine thousand geo to upgrade the fragile greed to the unbreakable greed twelve thousand geo to upgrade fragile heart to unbreakable heart and fifteen thousand geo to upgrade fragile strength to unbreakable strength so 
yeah it's it's very very steep but that is how you do it um after this she will poop out for lack of a better term um your charm and it will be uh, unbreakable it's uh it's not the most uh, pleasant thing to to see and know how it works but there you go that is how you get it done uh thank you guys so much for stopping by i hope that this helped you out if it did let me know down in the comments and be sure to come by every tuesday for the live streams 8 30 pacific standard time and i will see you then thank you so much for stopping by and we'll talk to you again more real soon thanks bye